So hello fellow Bangla collectors and that this is Glenn and in today's video we're going to be looking at Thailand's banknotes that were used between 1953 and 68. So it's roughly about 15 years depending on the actual banknote. So this is the first one, it is a one baht banknote. And the first thing you'll notice is that it actually has Western numerals. Well they're actually called Arabic numerals but the Arabs have never used them. And uh, Thai numerals, so if you want to learn how to count, uh, this is one way. So you've got 277925, and you've got the numbers down here, so this is S. 332 million, so it's actually quite a lot of banknotes. And then you've got to times that by, I don't know, it's 18 or something like that, whatever S is. I can't remember anyway. And this is actually... The smallest banknote of the series. So there are five banknotes. I've got four here. The 100 baht I don't have. And in comparison with the 20 baht, you can see the actual size. So this is classed as series nine of the actual Thai banknotes. So each banknote series in Thailand is a maybe they a lot of them they just change the actual portrait. Especially for the banknote that has this design. So up here we have the coat of arms of Thailand. So I think that's a Garuda. Mythical creature. And the watermark on all these is, I can't see it on that one. Uh, look at the 20 baht. Is King Rama the actual ninth. So I need a light for this. And then there you go. King Rama the Knights, so that's the watermark. They have a security thread. And I'll leave the light on. The only difference between each of these denominations is the actual building that is next to the actual portrait of the king. So this one has uh, Wat Fu. So Fu is the actual name of the building. Wat just means it's a temple. Here we actually have a stupa, which you can't actually go in, it's just a big brick monument. And this has been viewed from the Chao Praia River. So Chao Praia, you can see the actual water there. And this what actually goes right down to the actual river edge. And on the actual back of all the banknotes, we have the Amanda Samokong. Throne Hall, so this is more like a western type structure. I reckon they've copied it after the English. That's what type of structure looks like. Eighteen like hundreds, uh, more modern. And then we've got some information in Thai, probably saying counterfeiting is illegal. Printed by Thomas de La Rue. And this one in a circular, you can get it for like ten dollars. I think I picked this one up for like one or two dollars. So I just wanted to have a space filler in my banknote collection while I'll actually slowly upgrade to better banknotes. So the next one we have is a 5 bar. So this one costs between probably 15 to $20 if you're actually selling it. It's not too scarce. And this one is pretty much the same as the 1 bar. Purple in colour instead of blue. The image of the actual temple is actually well, not a temple looks like it's leading to a stupa so what and you can see the actual watermark so this is the pra paframa chedi so it's more like a, a colonnade heading towards a stupa uh, actually is uh, quite nice I need to actually visit that not too sure where it actually is and on the back, we have the same thing. So that's the Aman Da Samakom Town uh, Throne Hall. I'm just going to call it the Throne Hall. Thai really doesn't agree with me. So this one's uncirculated. And this is a condition you actually want these banknotes in. So that is the 5 baht. Then we actually have the 10 baht. So this and the 20 baht. Are the same size so the only difference is the 10 baht is brown the 
20 baht is green. So if you're illiterate, it would have actually been, you needed the color to actually tell you which banknote it was. And that's why different sizes of banknotes is actually good. And this one is the Pada Khan Fortress. And you can see the actual fortress there, more like a getting towards the western style type of fortress with uh, Thai features, probably imported from India. So a lot of Thai culture actually was imported from India when uh, Buddhism was, and um, no, Hinduism first and then Buddhism. So both of those come from India itself. Here's the actual coat of arms. Looks a bit, to me it looks a bit evil, but I don't mind. It's actually quite nice. And here we actually have the three-faced elephant that they actually used on the, or the old Kingdom of Lao coat of arms. Uh, probably derived from the same type of mythology. And this one was a bit harder for me to get. I actually got this one for like six dollars, uh, but that was probably a little bit of a bargain. And ten baht is not as common to get as the one and twenty. Uh, no, not the one. The five and twenty are actually easy to get. Then the one and ten, and this one probably in this condition pretty much is like ten dollars in itself. So you can see the actual throne hall. It's the same one, it's just a, a lot bigger. And the last banknote well, is the 20 baht. So this is the green one. And the 100 baht is actually a red banknote, so you can't actually get it confused with these banknotes. And they're actually a, a little bit larger than the 10 and 20 baht, because, you know, five times the value, you need it to actually be bigger. So this one has the Grand Palace in Bangkok. That's on the front. So you can see that. Looks quite nice. Looks a little bit of a Central European feel to me. With the pretty steep roofing and just the actual windows. More European style. But then you've got decorations that are pretty much like the Wat in uh, Thailand. So that's a nice banknote. And on the back, the same feature. I reckon that they probably could have put another building on each of these different banknotes to distinguish it, help people to uh, distinguish the actual denominations. And this one's probably worth about, oh, it's got a little rip there, probably about 10 to $20. If you want it uncirculated, you're probably talking about two to three hundred dollars in this grade. So currently, this one has a face value of a in exchange rate of one dollar, but back then in the nineteen fifties, probably been would have been worth about uh, four or five dollars, which is like forty to fifty. I'll say fifty dollars now. So it was a lot of money back then, and that's. A bit hard to get an uncirculated one because majority of Thai population uh, still are, are not that wealthy. Back then, Thailand was a third world country, so majority of the population would have spent all the money they had just to live. So that's basically why. And these ones are, mm, they just come on the market, a few of them, in the last two years so the price has gone down but once those are eaten up the price will probably increase again so the the um Thai banknotes that are actually older than this are pretty hard to get so this is the probably the earliest Thai banknotes that you can get that are actually a lot easier on the actual wallet so here we actually have some sold items. So we've got a 10 baht. Not too sure how much it actually sold for. Obviously not $15. Looks pretty nice, uncirculated. Uh, don't know, here's another 20 baht. See, what did I say, between probably $20 or something. Uh, that's a good 
one to actually get. And here's the actual collection. So this has got the 1, 5, 10, uh, 10 and 20, $16. That's definitely, I would have actually gone for that. And if we go down to other banknotes, see another 10 bar. This one's in circular condition. Uh, oh, I should actually filter with the cattle category. They're not coins. All categories. Notes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's screened out different ones. So, 20 baht, yeah, in good condition. $20. What did I say? A few hundred dollars in uncirculated. Maybe I was wrong on that. Maybe $20 in uncirculated. That's what it looks like. Uh, look at the Pakistani banknote. 10 baht. And that's about it. So, if we look at. I'll put 1955. Let's see if we come up with a hundred baht. Uh, here you go. Here's the 100 baht. Uncirculate. Oh, yeah, nearly a hundred dollars for that one. If we can filter out more stuff, don't really want stamps because this is a banknote. Okay, yeah, so uncirculated, pretty much 10. To fifteen dollars, thirty-two for an uncirculated one here, and here we have a lot of other different types of banknotes. So they, these values are actually all over the place, but the one hundred baht high grade, you're looking at least close to a hundred dollars. Uh, you can actually get low grade banknotes. So here you go. Oh, it's a reproduction. Uh, 120, these are actually a lot higher than what I thought they, or I've actually seen them go for last time. So, the 100 baht is actually going to be a lot harder to get. Anyway, so that's the Thai banknotes from 1950. I hope you enjoy this review of these banknotes. Uh, I don't think we'll actually get them in bulk lots, but anyway. Just uh, something good to actually get if you're interested in Thailand. So the earliest bank notes are actually pretty reasonable price to actually get. And uh, thank you very much. Have an awesome bank note and coin collecting time. I'll leave a link down below to Thai bank notes and coins on eBay. If you want to have a look. Uh, it's an affiliate link so I get about 3% from whatever you actually purchase. And uh, you know. Yeah, once again, this is not financial advice. Just have to put that into there. Uh, so don't take this as an investment video. Okay, thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.